This is Dom, Dr. Dom PT. If you're looking on Instagram, hunt him down because he gives great information about how to optimize your body and make you a more successful athlete and more healthy um, all around. So thanks for coming, Dom. Yeah, Appreciate it. Working, man. Hey, we got a question for you for all those volleyball players and maybe especially jumping athletes. Mm -hmm. What are the most, the three most important stretches that a volleyball player can do? All right, so places that we really need mobility, especially with overhead athletes, specifically volleyball players through the chest and through the back. We also need good mobility through the hips. So I'm gonna run you through a couple things that we can do for that. So first, I want you to use this pole, and all I'm gonna have you do is grab arm here like this, okay? okay? So a lot of people will do a chest stretch, but they'll just kind of throw their arm forward. And you see, you feel how your shoulder rotates forward like that kind yeah, of? It's going down. Yep, go back. So I want you to lock that shoulder blade down and back and almost step one foot forward and just kind of lightly lunge into that and you feel how quickly that comes in yeah, to the good. chest through here uh -huh. rather than letting our shoulder kind of roll forward as we step through we want to keep that shoulder blade rooted down and back and this can be a great one to do with the arm straight out to the side and also the arm a little bit higher because then we're going to stretch a slightly different portion of the pec okay. So if you want to just put more, yeah. And you can even bring your elbow in like this. Okay. Step that one forward. Down and back yep, first. Get that shoulder down and back. Press in. The most important stretch overall is breathing because that's how we actually teach our body that this is a good thing for us and that we can let those muscles take to less tension. And this is going to help me hit harder a lot longer? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Awesome. It's going to give you the range you need through your shoulders to feel like you don't need to get it through your low back and prevent us, again, from maybe getting some of that okay. low back pain. So that we don't have to do this, hurt my back, We're going my here when I'm attacking. Totally. We're going here, keeping solid here, rather than getting here and then needing to arch back to get the ball. Awesome. Right? Yeah, I had a huge problem with that and it affected my vision. Definitely caused an injury, but it may be a worse volleyball player because I would jump and open up like this and now yep. I would lose the defense on the other side because I'm only looking at the ball. Yeah. So if I just had better totally. flexibility through my chest, I'm gonna have better vision. Huh? Keeping yourself squared up and gaining it maybe through the thoracic spine where then you can, yeah, keep eyes up. Awesome. Why don't I have you take a knee? Number two. Number two, this right. is for the hips. So everyone, when they do a lunge, again, people will just come forward, arch through the back. A really simple tip, start here by locking ribs down, squeezing through that butt in the back. You already, actually, so it's gonna be this side, squeezing okay. through this cheek. You already feel that stretch in the front there a little, a little bit, bit, right? And then just let those hips translate forward a tiny bit without losing that squeeze and without losing this, okay. this so rib engagement. Yep, because okay. then again, we're not getting that extension through the hip, we're getting it through the low back. Squeeze in here, solid here. And the thing that you can start trying to do is lift that heel up towards that butt. Ooh and back down. That's gonna maybe bring it more down into the quad. A activation, yeah. Activating through that extended range where our hip feels a little bit in danger. To prevent that, we breathe. Tell the body that this is for your, it's for your own good. So yeah, even an elite player here like Mark, <laughs> some small changes can give him a lot more advantage on the court. Awesome. All right, third exercise is gonna be for thoracic rotation. So we're again getting the rotation where it's meant not compensating through the back to get that powerful strike. Leg forward, pin to the ground here. This one's straight. Both your hands are gonna be forward. I want you to just press that knee to the ground like you're gonna stick it there with glue and then open up the book. And follow that hand back with your eyes. Good, you might feel a little quick and crackle in that upper back. That's us gaining that motion safely where your body's now feeling comfortable to go sound like a broken record but breathe into it good breathing works huh breathing works <laughs> breath is good another way you can do it i call it the around the world is bringing this arm up and around so then we're working a little bit more shoulder and pec mobility as well while we go through that range slightly different angles because as athletes 
it's not the same every time. We have to train slightly differently, to play slightly differently. I can totally see that opening up big hitting windows, being able to stretch back here. Yes. And then come through that ball. Absolutely. Be great. Awesome. Right on, man. Dr. Dom PT. Find him on Instagram. Free stretches for volleyball. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you.